we got Sonny back, and Sonny's doing much better bench with are telling me he's doing really good in public getting around other dogs. But we're going to put him to some tests here. Today we got a lot of dogs. We got uh, we got Pat with uh, with Pluto, really great dog. We got Ziggy, and uh, we got some other people walking the dogs back. But we're going to see where he stands. Some things to correct. We're ready here, so let's, let's go. So the reason I Sunny. want to go over Sit. today's Good. lesson okay. with a voiceover is because the See, audio really failed me on, on this day while I was recording. So I'm just going to give you the tips and tricks of what I was talking about here in this session. Kind of you'll see Sonny is um, a little bit frustrated by the sights, and especially other dogs. It's always a high, high arousal for him. And my main goal is to always to get the dog away from that, that stressor. I want to show him an escape path. So in other words... Here he's pulling towards the other dogs and walk the other way. The more I can make this movement benign to him, just know that I disappear, I turn and walk away, the easier it is for the dog. I don't want to stress the dog, I don't want to yell at the dog, there shouldn't be any hitting, kicking, punching, nothing. There should be nothing personal about these corrections. It's simply walking away 100%. The leash gets tight, I drop the leash off, and then I walk away. But you'll see here, when the leash gets a little bit tight, there's a problem. Now, talking to the dog, I always say, makes the dog more confused. I don't talk during corrections. I just simply disappear. I might say a quick no, but I don't explain things. The dog only has one job, and that is to follow me. And you'll see, the more he starts to follow me, that's when he becomes relaxed. And at the end of the session, you'll see that he actually really gets it but it takes quite a bit of time to break this down in the dog's mind that he shouldn't be lunging in other words the lunging barking and all that is very self-fulfilling it fulfills his desire to lunge and bark the more he does it the more he will do it the tight leash makes it more engaging to him in other words he's getting feedback when the leash is tight he feels like he's getting something out of the frustration out of the barking and out of the behavior so you'll see that each of these pops moves him away from a stressful situation, pops. and it also always happens now on a loose leash. It's always a pop, nice not a drag. So you see so, the leash is loose now. And here I stepped on the leash quite by accident, but it kept him from moving forward. Now the leash is tight, but he's far enough away from the stress where he can actually sit with a little bit of help. And that's monumental. The first thing with a dog is always movement and then stillness. When the dog is frustrated, I always want to move the dog first and then ask him to sit. And I'll only ask the dog ever to sit when I'm at a neutral enough place in the beginning. So this is a really nice picture for the dog. This is the picture I want him to carry into the rest of this lesson, and he will. Here he's excited. Again, excitement means I remove you and re-engage you to me. When you're engaged to me, you're not going to have a problem. And again, I'll never correct him for going to his dad, so that usually is always a problem. I always want the dog to either come to me or the owner. That is the correction. That's the correction. Um, and the correction here, like I say, always brings the dog back to me. It re-engages the dog to me. It's not about punishing the dog. It's about redirecting the dog to where he should be, which is paying attention to me. Now here, Ben will do the exact so the same exercise. Really place, right? So you kind of walk forward. And here, as he goes forward, the leash is loose, and we correct. And we don't, we don't want the dog to go into any prey drive here. And prey drive means sniffing or sighting anything. We want the dog to engage and become loose. So here you'll see, even through the corrections, the, this uh, movement removes his stress, and also his body stays nice and loose. He'll go from a tight posture, but you see his tail is wagging. He's getting this lesson really easily. This is the third session we've done with Ben and Sonny. So the bad behavior, immediately a redirection and a re-engagement. Boom, turn around right here, right back. His body stays loose. In other words, this is still a game for the dog. At this age, this is a total game and really pretty easy to handle because we just make the game into a different game, which is engaging me as opposed to bad behavior. Let this behavior go, and you'll have a very aggressive and, and reactive older dog. As a puppy, we can make it a game. Hey, come back to me. Pay attention to me. And I will stress that the collar, although he's wearing a prong collar, 
the leash is not hooked into the prong collar, it's hooked into a martingale collar. And here there's multiple dogs, so he's going from left to right, there's a lot going on here. And again, when you're at a park sometimes, you cannot control the environment, so you need to control your dog. And when you make the game of engagement fun for the dog, then you're going to have a dog that's going to want to engage. You're going to have to work through it. Here we're at about five, six minutes with a very few edits just for time's sake. You'll see that he's already starting to get a little bit looser. Now, of course, he's a little bit tired, but he's getting much more relaxed in his body posture. He's allowing a loose leash. He's jumping up on me. These are all playful interactions. He's coming back. He's looking for something to do. He'll jump on his dad. He jumps on me. This is the redirection back to us is just about trying to do something. He went to me. He's going to go back to his dad. I don't necessarily want to punish these things. So here he's starting to eat now. So he's trying to push his frustration to another place because he doesn't know where he wants to put it yet. But you'll see here shortly that he goes from sniffing the grass, eating the grass, and lunging at these other dogs. Now the other dogs are at the other side of the fence right now. Hey, if you like this video, you're going to like all the videos here on my channel. Hit the subscribe button, but most importantly, hit that notification bell so you'll be updated of all my videos coming. One new one every week. Now here we got all the dogs into the park. I think we've got about three or so dogs. I've got Maya out. My friend Pat has her dog, Pluto out. And now you'll see the transformation here that after a bit of time, he's still sniffing, but now he's more focused on sniffing and avoiding the other dogs, which is what we want. We want the dog to be more neutral to the other dogs. And you'll see that here he can actually sit on a loose leash in the presence of two dogs relatively close. Maya is about 12 or 15 feet away from him. Now all I want Ben to do is to walk away and call Ben to him and you'll see that this will work now. Okay, a little tiny tiny tap on a leash but no more frustration. The, the barking has kind of subsided here and we'll bring him back and try it one more time. And here he's, he keeps sniffing on the ground and eating in the ground. It's just a nervous behavior because the dog is, he doesn't know what he should be doing with himself. And that's your job to teach him what to do, which is this. There's two dogs, three dogs. Okay, now we're going to do that same exercise again. And all you're going to do is you're going to tell him the command and you're going to walk away before you say come. I want you to start getting distance. So okay. the dog will now learn what we call the escape path, which means how do we get away from the bad behavior and it's to follow my dad. And you'll see how simple it is. Now look at the dog totally focused on Ben. He's not even looking at me, at Maya, or the other dog. And you'll see here, this here is the end of the session. Perfect work.